Hi everybody, welcome back to the Summer Reading Program. It's Miss Erica from Delmont Gardens Library. I am going to teach you Zine 101 today, uh, which is also known as how to make an eight page book with one piece of paper. Uh, just some background, a zine is a self-published little book, so you yourself can make this little book. It can have art, poetry, stuff about music, magazine clippings, anything you want to make it about, you can make it about. Uh, for this program, all you need is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. And that's it. It's really easy. Um, I am going to send home in the grab bags, which again are first come first serve, uh, instructions that look literally just, these are the instructions you're getting when you, when you take it home. And it tells you how to make the zine in the instructions which is, I think, kind of nifty. And you can use that to make a zine of any size, any kind of paper, blank, colorful, whatever you want, you'll be able to make it. All right, so let's get started. First and foremost, this is gonna have all the instructions you need. These lines are all things that you're gonna be folding. And I even put a dotted line for where you're gonna cut. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is fold the paper in half like it's a hot dog. It's a long way. Then you're gonna unfold it. See how we fold it along that line? That's a bingo. The next thing you're gonna do is fold it again like a hamburger, so the short way. It's summertime. We need to talk about hot dogs and hamburgers because who does not want hot dog or a hamburger on a summer day. The next thing you're going to do is flip this over and you're going to fold it a quarter of the way. So this is half, right? A quarter is taking this and going up to that half mark. You're going to then flip it around and do it again. You're gonna open it up, and guess what? Fold it in half. This is where your scissors come in. You see this dotted line? Me too. We're gonna to cut it, but do not cut the page like all the way across. You're only gonna cut until that solid line right here. So if you're not using the instructions, you're cutting it in half towards the first fold. Because when you unfold this, you're gonna see if I couldn't fold it, two, four, six, eight little squares. You're going to take this paper now and you are going to create a diamond. You're going to pull these parts away from each other and together and bring them to an X. This is the hardest part to get right. And I say that because I mess it up all the time. Then you're going to fold your paper over on these lines to create a book shape. And as it says, you've now made a book. So you can use these instructions to make a zine as many times as you like. And here it is. And on your instructions, you'll notice that they're all numbered. So if you made it right, it's gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. Here are some examples of things you can do with this. After you make your zine, you can take any kind of paper you want. You could print stuff up on the computer, you can write things, and you can make little magazines for yourself. I made Can Animals Read? It's got tons of pictures of animals looking like they're reading. And I came to the conclusion at the end, maybe? I don't know. You can also draw your own things. This one's called The Joke. And it's just a little stick figure because I'm not a great artist. Who wants to tell you a joke? But they forgot it. And you can make all kinds of little books with just paper, a Sharpie, scissors, ink, whatever you wanna do. 
you can make a bunch of fun little booklets that you can give out to your friends, that you can show to your family, or that you can keep for yourself. I hope that you guys have a great and happy summer. Um, please check these out at Delmont Gardens. And if you have any questions or you need any help with anything, please let us know. And I will see you next week with our next video. All right, take care.